Um, <laughs> no, but I, you know, I was always that one that was like, I'm totally fine. I don't need therapy. Like, I don't have issues with my emotions and knowing who I am and whatever. Yeah, I could not have been more wrong. So started my own therapy journey in like April of last year. So after the Bumble experience this fall, which I think was kind of, I think was er, like October was fine, you know, done and whatever. Um, I was, you know, as I went back and like reflected on that and did some introspective work through that particular situation, I went, you know, I don't think I was ready for the mm. wild of dating then. So it gave me like a couple of things to kind of really fine tune and work through. And I, in general, um, and David and I have kind of talked about this high level, but I feel like, you know, the last probably three or four years, I slowly kind of just continuously lost pieces of myself. Right. So, you know, you, doing things because you don't want to rock the boat. You don't want to start an argument. You feel like you're doing it for your partner, for the other person. So you're compromising who you are. There's compromise in relationships, right? There's, there's things healthy that you compromise, do. right? There's things that you do because you love the other person and you want to do these things, but there's a difference, right? Between completely, losing yourself, not expressing your own feelings, what your needs and wants are because you feel like you're then rocking the boat. So well, I feel it's like a, it's a point you made too. So we talked about this offline. We basically had said that you compromise and you compromise and you compromise until you compromise so much of yourself away that you don't quite know who you are anymore. And yep. the point that you yep. just made, like the, the healthy compromise, if that person and I will use myself as an example, so I'm not speaking for anybody else, but I, you know, the traumatic shit in my past, there was a point where Krista was having to compromise who she was simply to deal with a really unhealthy part of who I was. That's the right. unhealthy compromise. So they have right. an issue. They have a hole in their soul. There's something that's going wrong. No matter what you do, there's no amount of compromise that's going to fix that. That becomes a black hole. And it will just keep eating pieces of you until there's nothing left. And then I think, oddly, at the end of that, after you've given and you've given and you've given and you've sacrificed uh, as much as you can, they somehow, at least a lot of guys that I know, um, even women will end up resenting the other person for not standing their ground. Like, they stop respecting him. So this it's right. a really weird cyclical and rotten um, loop that we too, fall into. Imagine. Oh, hugely. I mean, listen, what is the national stat still on divorce? About 47%, 53%? One out of two end in divorce? Now they're just not getting married these days. Maybe there's right. wisdom in oh, that. Yeah. I don't know. But at the very least, in, even in, in broader, you know, the, the broader implications in society, we are, we are not doing a particularly good job anymore of figuring out how to cohabitate. Nope. And to healthy compromise, nope. whether it be government or work. And now a lot of us get to work from home. Um, I'm, I'm convinced that with Meta, at some point, we're just going to exist in our own echo chambers and be surrounded by people who simply give us confirmation bias all day. And we will never be challenged on our assumptions or our predispositions. And so I can only imagine, I can only imagine what relationships look like. And so you're just breeding this hyper tribal kids and then they have even more hyper tribalized kids. And so I don't know where all this leads to, but it is interesting to me if we go back to, you know, the, the fundamental part of the human condition that needs to be satisfied. Like we, you know, there's the love languages, but we all want to feel wanted and we want to feel appreciated right. and we want to feel like there's a reason that we're here because life is fucking hard. And if we don't have that yeah. why, if we don't have that reason to kind of get up the next day and to try hard, <laughs> comb the hair, put on a nice shirt, trim the facial hair, put your best foot forward. If we remove and we mitigate all the reasons for doing so, it's very, very difficult to keep going. And you're seeing in that spike in suicide and self-harm and cutting and alcohol and drug death and everything else. So it's obviously manifesting itself in the broader alcohol. population. Uh, yeah, well, abuse, not consumption. Generally, that's fine. What we're doing is fine. Um, but it does, it does say something of the hundreds of dudes that responded to you, the two that you thought were worthy... Uh, and one of them turned out to be a real jerk off, which we'll cover in a in a different episode. Because you're right, I think that that unto itself is an entire episode. And I think very I, interesting. And I think we need to get a few other women for that episode too, because the the because yeah, as I was that just, one that one that one's going to need a quorum. I think 
of people. That one was an adventure. Yeah. Because yeah. talking well, to those women at the bar last night, all of them had a similar story. That see? there there is something very wrong. There's something rotten in the state of Denmark. And so we don't quite know what it is. I think we can talk about, you know, what we think are the culprits, social media, toxic masculinity right. but i'm actually mm -hmm. i'm starting to wonder if if toxic masculinity is just being confused for lost boys who don't really seem to know or have right. yeah a framework of what does it mean to be a good man in 2022 and that's another thing at some point that you and i are going to talk about we're not going to get to that today that is an entire episode like help us create a curriculum to develop the right man like what does that look right. like and we need a group of women on to talk about that because I've got questions yeah. myself. I'm not in the market, but for those of, the, and I know that there's lots of dudes who listen, not only here, but Germany, China, we got people all over the world listening to the show. Uh, and I have to assume that uh, even they suffer from the same problem. What do you all want from us?